Hi folks, this is AJ from Microsoft again. Thanks for joining me for this quick little video. Um, on August 12, 2013, Microsoft released a preview edition of the mobile app in the Windows Store for Power BI. And I want to spend a couple of moments walking you through what it looks like in the preview release and what's there and perhaps what's not there so far. So the place where you might want to start is by looking at the Windows Store or Microsoft Store, I should say. And you come over here and we do a search on Power BI. And the first thing in the list, oh, it's five stars, Microsoft Power BI. So bring this down to your machine to, to get started. And it'll go through its, its motions here. Let's see what this thing looks like out of the chute. We have a, an entry on our desktop for Power BI. We click on this guy. And it gives you the, the first option here to say, do I want to use the express settings or customize? There's no really, at the moment, there's not a whole lot under customize. Um, you probably want to turn both of these things on. The second piece being especially important if you don't have an Office 365 tenant at your disposal present. So what you might want to do is just leave both of those turned on and say, let's get started. And now the shoot, you get these three samples that, that are hosted on one of our Office 365 servers. So at a high level, the way it works is in order to seed content in the, in the mobile app for Power BI, you have to have used some of the Power BI tools for the most part that means Power Pivot and Power View to create some content. You publish that to Office 365, and then you tie Office 365 to the to the mobile app here, which I'll show you in just a moment. But just to give you a brief little tour of what's possible, in the box you get a healthcare application, an Olympics application, and this application called Car Sales. Let's look at the the healthcare application, and if you're familiar at all with what we're doing in the BI stack around self-service business intelligence, some of these views will look pretty familiar. The font that we're using, sort of the layout of the line charts and such, it it, it strikes you as perhaps as being something that's very, very much like Power View. And that's what this is. It's, it's basically a Power View um, chart being rendered through the lens of this mobile application here. And as I click on the different pages, the tabs on the left and the right to sort of navigate through the application, you'll see that it looks pretty, pretty much familiar. It's like taking the contents of what you'd normally see in Power View in the browser, and we're encapsulating that within the contents of the uh, of the mobile app. By the way, the app at present is available for Windows 8 devices, both um, Intel and ARM devices. So you can run this on your Surface RT if you choose to do so. Um, a lot of the features do make themselves available to to the audience through the lens of, of the, the mobile app. So things like hovering over points in a, uh, in a bar chart and then being able to click on a bar chart and filters the other aspects of the screen, being able to click back on it and then everything's restored back to square one, um, being able to use slicers and such. Those kinds of conventions do come through um, with the latest release of, uh, of the Power BI mobile application. So that's enough of the, some of the views that are here. I did want to change context for just a moment and go back to my desktop um, because I wanted to show you very quickly how do you, how do you see Power BI with content above and beyond the three sample reports that you had uh, seen in the app so far. So here's an, a, a basic example. We had, we've had this, little demonstration workbook floating around inside of Microsoft. You may have seen some other demos from some of my colleagues showing off this application. And it's hard. It's a, it's a basic power pivot model. On the front, on, front end of this, there is a there's a pivot chart. There is a pivot table underneath it with some, some drill down enabled with some sort of hierarchy, some conditional formatting. So conventional Excel kind of stuff in the first page. The second page being a dashboard-esque looking view that was built out in PowerView. So you'll see we're using the mapping capabilities, some stack bars, a regular bar chart, a, an animated scatter plot. So some of the things that you may have seen from previous demonstrations or perhaps your own explorations of using the, uh, the PowerView technology. So one page we've got some pivot table, pivot chart action. On another we have 
power view content. So, all, so both the data model as well as the the views have been pre-built in this workbook, right? So you do need to get through the creation of this content prior to the point where the mobile app makes any sense whatsoever. Because by and large, you're not going to be using the mobile app to create content. You're going to be using it to consume reports and analyses and dashboards and whatnot. So the first step in the sequence to getting started with the mobile app with your data is to go through the same sort of process that you would with Power Pivot, Power View, maybe Power Query on the very back end of things, if you choose to do so. And ultimately what you wanna do is save this out to an Office 365 tenant. Now, um, Office 365 tenants are available if you're not familiar with it. If you go to office365.com, uh, you'll see some options here what I recommend that you do in order to, to play around with some of the BI capabilities I'm going to show you now, what I'd ask you to do is find this link for Office 365 Enterprise. And in the spirit of, hey, you don't want to mess with your existing tenant or you just want to kick the tires a little bit, you might want to come over here. We're not going to collect your credit card number or anything. You can get a, a, three one, a free one month uh, subscription to an E3 implementation of Office 365. You'll need to do that in order to host the workbook so that the mobile app can talk to some Power Pivot, Power View application that you've built out. And so in my case, I took that same workbook that you had just seen, that, that CSAT example, not that the content is really all that important for this session, but when I click on that guy, you'll see it takes me to an HTML representation of that same that same app, right? So here's the pivot table, pivot chart kind of stuff happening on one page. On another page you have, and it takes a moment here through the browser to see the the, the power view screens popping up, that, that dashboard look and feel, the four quadrant layout of content. And so th those kinds of things come up through the browser. And this has been around for a little bit, but now what we wanna do is we wanna expose this to folks that are on mobile devices. Now, clearly if you're, if you're um, if you're not using the mobile app for Power BI, you could certainly have pointed your mobile browser towards this site. And depending on what browser you're using and what edition of the browser, you might or you might not get a functioning or semi-functioning experience. In our case, what we're doing is we want to wire this mobile application that's net new to the store and pull this into our uh, mobile app. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip back to the mobile app here. So remember that's gonna be in my start screen. If you look at my start screen, it's I have it parked very much towards the left side of things because it's a it's of critical importance to those of us that are in the BI space at Microsoft. So if I flip back to the application, you'll see all of the the sample apps that came out of the box because I during the custom settings when uh, after installing this you turn on, do I want to see the sample workbooks? And these are the three that come along for the ride. What you may want to do to add your own content is you want to point this to your Office 365 tenant to get whatever models and applications that you may have created. And so what you might want to do is to come over here and to say browse. And when you go to browse, it's going to give you a pointer out of the box that points to our the, the site that's hosting our samples. What we want to do is we want to park our own Office 365 tenant link here. And you'll see when, if I swipe from the bottom of the screen, um, I'm using Windows 8, of course, in this case. Um, so I swipe from the bottom or I right mouse click at the bottom of the screen and just punch in the URL for my, for my Office 365 tenant. I click on here and it'll figure out once it finds the site, it'll figure out what my folder structure looks like, what my site structure looks like over there. I'm going to punch in my credentials. 444. And if you're trying to figure out what 444 means, I'm from Philadelphia, so we cheer for the Flyers, Eagles, Sixers, Flyers, Eagles, Sixers, Phillies, our four core primary sports, professional sports here in town. So punch in my password. I'll leave my credentials alone for the moment. AB 
maybe if I type in my credentials properly without the one, this will work. And so once it connects, now it starts to see my folder structure. I have a, I have a document library out there just called BI Documents. It's not even a formal Power Pivot gallery per se. It's just a, a SharePoint document library. And that's where that workbook lives. And notice what happens when I come in. There are, there, there are a couple things that we do want to point out about the current implementation of this Power BI mobile app. So you'll notice that we, instead of getting two pages like you had seen earlier, now you're starting to get four pages. One, two, three, four. So what's going on here? Well, what Power of You tried to do is it tried to take that the pivot chart in the first view and chunk it out to make it its own page in the mobile BI application. This thing still is semi-interactive. I can change the sorting order on things. I wouldn't suggest there's like a whole lot of right-click kind of um, capability on a PowerView application. You probably know that already. Um, you'll notice as we flip from page to page, notice what the second page looks like. It's now the, the pivot table. This should be the, the view that brings back the, uh, the KPIs or the, the conditional formatting living in the grid. And see it's spinning its wheels here a little bit. It may take a moment. Well, it doesn't look like the pivot table control comes up that quickly, but at the end of the day, we did get it. So you do have the green, yellow, red kind of stop light. You do have the ability to, to click on the stubs in the pivot table control and do some of the, the hierarchical drill downs if you've expressed the, uh, the pivot table in such a way to support that. Notice here along the side of the screen, and I didn't show this in the first in the first view, but there's a show filters button. And what it does, it kind of picks up the, the slicers that you may have thrown onto the worksheet. And we try to pick that up here and allow you to, to um, apply some sort of constraint to the analyses um, if you choose to do so. So start at a top level and use these filters to put the blinders on and only look at a subset of your data as, as you have dictated. Um, I want to show you perhaps the more perhaps the more appropriate the the, the current mindset for where, where we think a lot of these views are going to live. It won't be in these pivot table pivot chart type of controls, but rather it's going to look more like that power view dashboard. Now notice here what's missing. If I compare this against what I have either in the browser in Office 365 where I look at um, even the workbook itself. There's four views here, two bar charts, a map, and a, and a scatter plot. In the, the Power View application that we actually created on our machine in Excel 2013. If I go out back over to my mobile app, the map goes away and the scatter plot goes away. So the only reason I show this to you is to kind of drive home the point. This is pre-release software. The mapping piece is not quite there yet. The scatter plot piece is not there yet. Um, most of your conventional applications, um, bar charts, line charts, ta tabular views, those things do um, come through very nicely through PowerView. So if you see these kinds of errors, um, you know, especially in the early going, I wouldn't get too concerned about that. It's it's just a known missing component of Power View. So some stuff's going. Oh, oh, pardon me, of Power BI, the mobile application, at present. So you'll see those kinds of capabilities, like the mapping and the scatter plot, coming forward into the Power BI mobile application um, sooner than you may realize. Um, the capability to apply filters on the view, if you've um, established some, some things in the underlying workbook, they should come through as well. So after taking a look at all of that content, you'll notice that if I go back to the root of the, uh, the Power BI application, I'm still back to my three sample views here. What you can do is you could say, I want to come back over here and browse my site and right click on this or you swipe on top of this on a, on a on a mobile device and I can optionally choose to flag this thing as a favorite and when I flag that application as a favorite if I come back over to the top level 
screen for the Power BI mobile application, you'll notice that it starts to think about generating thumbnails for, for, the, um, for the simple application that we had just published to Office 365. And you'll see the screen start to come out because now it's a, a top level option that's available in our in our catalog in Power BI. If I come back over here, you'll start to see some of the, uh, the screenshots that Power BI has manufactured for our viewing pleasure. So that's a quick overview of what Power BI is all about from a mobile app perspective. There's plenty more to come. Uh, we'll see app updates to this application as well as the rest of the Power BI stack. Um, over the coming weeks and months. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm easy to find. Thank you.